welcome to the Kemetic How-To Guide for Egyptian Pagan and Kemetic Practitioners. I'm your host, Sharon. At one time, there were a couple of different Egyptian ritual videos here on YouTube, but when I went to go and find links for them lately, I couldn't find them. So, and, you know, things happen. You have to rearrange your page, especially since YouTube has rearranged their format. So today I'm going to share one from my new book, Circle of the Sun, Rites and Celebrations for Egyptian Pagans and Kemetics. Different groups and different traditions each have their own rites, and some of them are longer than others, some of them are very specific. There's some groups that really don't like to share their rituals with outsiders, and that's fine. Um, the one that I'm going to demonstrate is meant for anybody to use, and you can adapt it as you need to for your own practice in your own space. So, let's get started. We'll start off with uh, what I call the candle prayer. And uh, this is something you can recite as you're, ri you're lighting your candles. This comes from uh, temple uh, rites where they would actually uh, recite things as they were lighting fires. And something interesting to keep in mind, um, they couldn't start a fire as easily as we can. So <laughs> theirs were naturally a little bit longer. Come in peace, bright eye of Horus. Come in peace, receive the light. The eye of Horus shines like Ra in the twin horizons, and evil hides in fear of it. Receive the light. The eye of Horus destroys the enemies of Ra in all of their abodes. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus comes, and I am purified with it. Receive the light. If you have a sistrum, ring this for your invocation. If you want inform information on how to make a sistrum, that you can uh, find that in a do-it-yourself chapter in Following the Sun. If you don't have a sistrum, you can use a small bell, or even, if you really have to improvise, get some beads. Uh, the whole idea is you just rub them together and use that sound you know, uh, as a, a start or a stop. Now your invocation naturally is going to vary depending on which deities you're working with. And uh, generally I use a fourfold uh, title and you can refer to Circle of the Sun for uh, titles for, for various deities. Um, if you uh, work with a particular one that you don't see listed in there shoot me a request and I'll see if I can put a video up. What we're going to use here is just a general one since I've got quite a, a host of deities uh, and sort of in a need unto itself on my altar here. Hail and praise unto you, O gods, lords of Ma'at, united in Ma'at, great ones who reject wrongdoing. And when it comes to the offerings, some books say you should lift the plate four times. Um, I've, I've actually tried that and it didn't feel right. But what I have seen, and, and uh, I'll try to include links you know, in my, uh, uh, my favorites, uh, there are videos of Hindu offering ceremonies called puja where really all they do is they just pass the plate or the candle or whichever th item they're offering one time in front of their icons, and that really seems to work best for me. Try using different techniques and, and come up with something that works for you. Take these, your cool waters, which are the inundation. Milk, milk, may you taste it in your shrine. I give you incense. I give you incense, great of purity. Take this, your bread on which gods live. When you've made your offerings, this is your time for prayer. This is between you and your gods. So whatever it is that you need to uh, cover with them, 
then that's your time to do it. When you're done, you can ring your system. And some people like to perform uh, a gesture, sort of a, a genuflection. One is Hinu, that's what they, they call it. Um, I, per, I think Dua is the uh, uh, more proper word for it. There's uh, Check the, uh, my, uh, the video that I have on you know, uh, Hinu and, and gestures of reverence. Uh, but again, whatever works best for you, this also works, this works, they'll know what you're doing. If you have a particular rite or a variation on one that you use and if you don't mind sharing it, post it as a response video. And remember you can always learn more from both following the sun which has a few particular rites in it and circle of the sun which is more extensive. Here, let me put them both where you can see them. Both of them are available on Lulu and you know, hopefully this will be some help to you in your own Egyptian pagan or comedic practice. So for the comedic how-to guide, this is Sharon wishing you synapti.